Out of the latest on those fugitives who are on the run after escaping from a jail in middle Georgia earlier this week. Yeah, the FBI is now hoping a bigger pile of cash is going to convince somebody to snitch if they know where any of those four inmates may be. We have Atlanta News First Rebecca Schramm reporting from the FBI Atlanta field office, which is near Shambly. The reward fund continues to grow thanks to several groups making regional crime stoppers, the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, the U.S. Marshals Service, and now the FBI. Uh, this is an all hands on deck situation when something like this happens. So, Bibb County uh, Sheriff David Davis describing the in. inmate escape that has now prompted a nationwide manhunt for men who broke out of the county jail in Macon by slipping through a window in the oldest part of the jail and squeezing through holes cut in chain link fences. There was some video footage of a vehicle that had been there earlier in the evening uh, that. Uh, Looked like they had been tampering with the fence. That is why we have a lookout now for this uh, uh, blue Dodge Challenger. Three of the fugitives have charges that include aggravated assault, weapons possession, and drug trafficking. The fourth, 52-year-old Joey Fournier, is accused of murder for allegedly strangling his ex-girlfriend. With the FBI now adding $25,000 to the reward money, the total now stands at $73,000 for information that leads to their capture. A couple of them have contacts outside of the middle Georgia area, so we're certainly following up on that. If you want to take another look at the fugitives, we've got their photos on our website, along with who to contact if you want to remain anonymous when you turn any of those fugitives in for that reward money. Near Shambly, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First.